While Peyton may have had a rough start to his NBA career, other hardwood heroes have had golden beginnings. They once shared the spotlight together, but now Miami's Tim Hardaway and Sacramento's Mitch Richmond play on opposite sides of the country. Still, they spend time together whenever they can and continue a friendship that dates back to their early years with the Golden State Warriors. When I first saw him, my first day at Golden State, and I was like, man, that's Mitch Richmond. <laughs> you know, I was like, hey, how you doing, you know? I'm happy to be here, you know? And uh, we just clicked. On the way out of here. And guess who? Mitch Richmond is I used to watch a lot of tape on him. So I thought he was about 6'5". So when I first walked up to him, and I was like, man, this guy is 5'11", you know? When we got on the court, we started practicing, and I was like, man, he got the quickest first step I ever seen. The killer crossover. Oh, brother. Here's Tim Hardaway behind the back. Oh, he spins and scores. We had lots of fun. You know, it was just that camaraderie between us, just knowing, on the court, just knowing where he was at, passing the ball. Mitch Richmond. I can see him filling the lane. Richmond explodes! So it was, it was a lot of fun. It was unstoppable because, you know, maybe Tim bust for 30 and I come out with 28, you know. It was like, it was, it was, it was just great basketball because we was going up and down. And in 1991, their second season together, they helped orchestrate a memorable playoff run. Here comes Hardaway on the wing to Richmond, the pull up. Got it! Yes. He's automatic tonight. Hardaway, oh. off the crossover. Here's the whistle! Momentum was building as Golden State upset the heavily favored San Antonio Spurs. It's all over! The Warriors are going to the Western Conference semifinals! However, it would be the last great moment the two would share as Warrior teammates. Richmond was traded in the offseason, leaving a stunned Hardaway behind. It was tough because we thought that we was going to be the core of the team. And when he left, it was like, wow, uh, <laughs> you traded Mitch. You know, a great friend. Just up and move. You're not going to see him every day. Right. You're not going to play with him every day. You're not right. going to laugh with him every day. And an even harsher reality awaited Richmond in Sacramento, where he would join a Kings team that had endured eight straight losing seasons. I just had to step back and say, this is not so bad. You know, I'm, um, I'm playing this sport that I love, you know, love to do. And, uh, you know, I just changed jerseys. A lot of people would like to be in the same shoes as I am. Uh, so let's give it a chance and, and let's see where it goes from there. Richmond made the most of his situation as he became one of the league's top scorers. And in 96, he led the Kings to their first playoff appearance in a decade. Mitch's drive to succeed enables him to take on the best the NBA has to offer. And his inspired play has won the hearts of fans and the admiration of his teammates. I love playing with Mitch because he's one of those guys, he goes out there every night, you know what you're going to get. Bottom line, he doesn't take a day off. Richmond! Oh, what a big shot! You're talking about a clutch shot! You know, he don't get enough recognition, but uh, if people can see him play night in and night out, um, they'll see why he's an all-star, why, you know, everybody will want him on their team. While Richmond achieved fame as an Olympic gold medalist, his friend Hardaway encountered difficult times in Golden State. A devastating knee injury would force him to miss an entire season. And when he did return, there seemed to be little killer left in his crossover. Everybody thought Tim had uh, lost a step or lost his crossover when he had knee surgery and people felt that he was done. Once the pride of the franchise, Hardaway was now relegated to the bench. It was over with, it was over with. And, um, you know, it, it just wasn't right there. It was time for me to go. It was time for me to move on. A fresh start awaited in Miami, where Hardaway hoped to rejuvenate his career. I'm um, just looking forward to, to a new start. Um, coming out here, just playing, first of all. Making the most of the opportunity, Tim was revitalized, and opponents were soon faced with a reminder of the past. Hardaway still outside the arc of the dribble, inside of 10, pull up three under pressure. Good, oh, what a cold-blooded three. Oh, Tim Hardaway, they can't stop him. Oh, that's great basketball. My confidence always was there. I never lost my confidence. Hardaway on the spin. Hardaway! Oh, my! Tim! 
Timmy thinks he's the best player on the court. You know, he thinks he's the best player on the court. When the guy thinks that way, in my eyes, my heart got to go out to him. Hardaway, left to the floor, running down the line. Oh, my! How many times is this guy going to perform at that level? He is unbelievable! I've been through a lot, so I'm just happy to be in a situation I'm in. And uh, I'm very happy to say, you know, that um, I'm having fun. See, this is what I used to do to Mitch. With their journeys to stardom so closely linked, both Hardaway and Richmond will always share a special bond. When I play up against him, he let me know it. Oh, I'm going to take him. I'm, I mean, it doesn't matter if he's supposed to run a play. He's going to break that play, and he's going to try to score me. Oh, Tim Hardaway on a runner. You know, he's always you know, trying to it score. It goes the man. same way. I switch on him. Oh, oh, I got a little one. I got a little one. <laughs> and if he scores me, I'm going to hear about it. <laughs> we both compete on the court, so I don't think we take friendship in the hand at that point in time. But when the game is over, you know, we acknowledge each other. So. Let's go back to being friends, yeah. you know? Yeah.